Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to our UAG Grand Disbursement Update. This is uh, the continuation of the chat. People that matter in Grand Community were called up uh, in this chat room. So you just listen to it. This is a continuation. If you want to listen to the first part, the first yeah, part, you just check yeah, it out. I have a pull of phone call to. Or go to the description. Uh, first link in the description. I called both twice yesterday. That was two days ago. He yeah, had to cut it twice. Anybody that matters, and he never responded. Or the and I tried the any matters. map on I WhatsApp. Called for it. He never responded. Chat. So everybody yeah, that was talking to me, that I've been talking to in New York, to put him on the hot seat. I've tried my best possible to get. Get him, even to to hear his voice, he never called back, nor even picked my calls. So that was just that. So you guys should start bothering the electrifying heat man about putting a uh, chief Akogo on the hot seat to hear his his, or his own side of the version of the story. So he needs to come up, or anybody needs to mediate between uh, me and him, or you have to put a phone call to him to get him on the hot seat. So if he obliges my request on my invitation to be good so that is just that anyways this is still the chat show powered by hits me foundation and piloted by the electrifying hits man i am michael anyways uh prince for worry the new kid on the block uh what is a dissatisfaction uh, if i should put it this way about the press conference as people are questioning the duration uh is long overdue i know that money you know, powers everything. So what do you have to tell the masses to buckle up things? Because the beneficiaries, I can't even put the word beneficiaries. The subscribers are more than the grand handlers. So if each subscriber should pay a thousand bucks, which a thousand bucks has, I just uh, elaborated uh, the press conference, how it will look like, because I was watching the United States uh, Secretary of defense press conference going on in the united states you can see the numbers of press you know the the tv station radio stations that were bimping the cameras everything and it was being covered live so that is that the kind of what press uh, conference uh prince from worry is about to do with his clicks so you guys need to contribute towards that end uh, so, so how's the the whole arrangement going i know we're discussing behind the, the door behind the scene on the other angle which will continue after the show so what do you have to tell the masses to encourage them to pay towards the press conference sir okay thank you very much uh, well i don't really have much to say concerning the press conference because most people that complain that is getting too long they are not involved if they are involved and they are partners of the press conference they will not come out to complain because every single partner of the press conference know what we are doing they know how much we have gotten they know how far we have gone so for someone to just come up and say the press conference is getting too long or is getting delayed that means the person is from the other camp of you AG. they just want to use every means to silence the press conference because somebody that is a member of the press conference or a partner of the press conference will not ask such a question. Because everything we are doing, we discuss it on our press conference platform, which is the partner's platform. The reason the press conference has not been done, you cannot compare, you can't tell me that the press conference has taken a long time. No, grant community is, the grant now is eight years. Press conference is just months here. Yeah. There was a write-up I put up today. I said the grant handlers that have scammed Nigeria subscribers are very, very few. The NGOs that have scammed Nigeria subscribers, they are just in thousands. They are not even up to 10,000. They are just in thousands. Why the subscribers, they are in millions. Now, I don't blame the grant handler. I don't blame the CEOs if the subscribers are not ready if they are still if they still want to be in this bondage that is their business because we have been pampering them for long and our vn is like when we are agitating and all of that it's like we are fooling ourselves agitation without action is a empty agitation and very soon nobody will hear my voice on social media because my voice have not put 
money or it does not bring disbursement just argue 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 and it's it's getting tiring that's just the truth if the subscribers can stand up to their feet and say they are ready for the press conference today tomorrow the press conference we hold everything has been put in place like i will always say it's just the financial aspect of it and someone will come up and say press conference is free i don't understand what kind of press conference you want to do that is free in nigeria even in outside country you must put one or two dollars together to organize a press conference press conference is not free we are actually looking for five to six million naira for this world press conference just because we have chose two states currently now if we even have 50 million naira at hand maybe maybe we'll do the press conference in the old 36 states the same day because we want it very loud very very loud but because of the financial struggle and everything the economy system in nigeria we decided to cancel either lagos or Abuja. We decided to for the now we can't tell you where we are holding the press conference we have beat the money from five million to six million we have beat it down we just need only just one state there is no point doing to work and cover everything it's in you see it is a world press conference in case the the nigeria government failed us the foreigner that brought this money will not fail us they should be informed they should know what the, what we are going through in the ends of the so-called system in nigeria because this so-called grant and last they are still claiming in tomorrow that the authority is the one delaying the money so we want to cry to the authority if eventually we cry to the authority and the authority refuse to answer us then un they will answer us that's it the foreign body will answer us this is what we want to do I was discussing with one of the uh, CEOs concerning the press conference. Do you know what he told me? He said he believed in the press conference 100%. Mm -hmm. But the reason he does not want the press conference is that after the press conference, they might decide to go for new registration of uh, data, submission of data rather, that there, there was a way he said it that after the submission of data then maybe everybody will be uh, both the angels and everybody will be beneficiaries you can just imagine the greediness of man that means because of their own selfish interest they know they know quite well that this press conference will bring results but because of their selfish interest the NGOs refuse to join the press conference they know that this press conference actually will bring what we are looking for it see some of them will tell us that the press conference we we, we make them cancel the money or whatever my question is that have you gotten the money today is thursday thursday is gone tomorrow is friday have you gotten the money for how long do we still want to remain in this so-called grand bondage for how long press conference will make everybody get what they're supposed to get but still they refuse they refuse to support the press conference and the painful part of everything now is the subscribers that that spend their millions they are billions so they are cars some are in fact some are homeless presently they refuse to support the press conference as i speak to you now some ngos are still collecting five five thousand for bundles and the same subscribers are still paying this money so tell me what do you want me to do you don't expect me to come outside to start agitating for press conference why the people i agitate for refuse to support the press conference so i and my team we have choose on our own not to come outside to talk about press conference anymore but to support it in any way within ourselves because the press conference must is a must is a done deal already it's just a financial stream that is attached to it but is a done deal that is what i cannot come out to encourage anybody because i am affected as well me that is making agitation shouting crying and i am affected as well there are people that are more affected than i do there are people that have lost their siblings they have lost their parents and everything i have not lost anyone but i have lost my properties i've lost my roof over my head i've lost money you understand there are people their situations is more worse than my own but still they would not come to support the press conference to be free 
press conference will not dis disturb disbursement and the disbursement we have not seen it instead it will even bring more disbursement more grants this is what the don't understand so that's what i have to say concerning press conference there is no more i cannot force anybody it's not by fault it's by choice because presently now one of the anger chief Akogo is having that we are collecting money from people that is his anger but my question to him now is that when ken was collecting money he never accused ken he never fought Ken. Now we are collecting money to do the right thing is against us. This is where my anger lies with Chief Akogu. Now you said you are in the picture. You collect um, Ken, Ken has been collecting money. Millions of Naira. You can see Reverend Oguash what he's facing today. Millions of Naira. You never one day came out to challenge them. Never. Because you always say you are in the picture. But now we are collecting money to do the right thing. You are against us. Then tell me why will I not be angry with him? He's a chief. I'm a prince. I cannot stand so low to him because he has lost the respect. That is what I have to say. So the press conference, everything is going fine. The only challenge we have is finance. So whoever so that is ready, when grant community, they are ready to be free then we, the agitator, we are ready for them. Thank you very much. All right, straight up now, I see you just felt that from the uh, new kid on the block. Prince from Worry. I want to correct one impression and educate the grants committee and the team, the press conference team, yo, you don't need to go around uh, state before you make the broadcast international. The way to do it, that is why we are experts in the broadcasting uh, industry. I just said uh, earlier that uh, the United States Secretary for Defense is online. He's having a press conference, a world press conference about the activities of Israel, the bombing of the World Food Center, and uh, the bombing of the consulate, uh, that is Iran consulate in Syria. So he's answering questions from press, that is the press, about uh, the phone call between uh, President Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So that press conference is being beamed by Al Jazeera, CNN, BBC, you know, all the international stations worldwide. But the press conference is being held in the White House, but is beamed round you know the world right now when it comes to the international broadcast organizations but they never move the press conference from point a to point b it's been beamed as i speak to you right now in the white house that is the official house of the president of the united states so what am i trying to say in a nutshell this is how the whole thing will roll the press conference can hold in abuja ait we have to beam it live. If we can get three powerful TV stations, AIT, Channels Television, including TVC, that belongs to the president, Tinubu, we have to beam it live. And when they beam it live, it will be a national thing, like NTA News. You got it, national news. So when they beam it live, all the substations, like NTA Abuja will start being made live. NTA Lagos will carry it. NTA Kano, all the 36 states that have NTA or AIT or Channels Television or TVC, including the ones in West Africa, Africa, uh, Europe, because AIT is in US, AIT is in London, EDC, they will all be made live. That makes it international. So when you achieve that, if we can achieve that, you know, aim, you beam it live, and as they're beaming it live, they are recording it as well. And it should be telecast, it should be a news for them that they will read for about a week. And the beauty about the whole shit, because I'm an expert in the business, I'm just pouring this out. I'm not supposed to say this publicly, but I've started already. Bah. So when they record it, they'll give copies to uh, Mr. Prince, the press conference crew, which we also put on the social media 
that will circle around it will be a bomb blast so if we can achieve that you don't need to carry you know after doing press conference a in a state you move to the second state it doesn't make sense keep the whole shit in a place in a big hall gather the 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 the, the paparazzis the paparazzi will be there the media houses edc been the whole thing in life for one hour or 10 minutes get all the people on the block there then cover the whole shit i think the press conference should last for an hour then have duration for five five minutes for everybody to say what they have to say that will even create more rooms for the government to look at it that look i don't know you know the biggest problem we have in the grants community just coming that are happening since 2012 not even 2016 it was me that had to bring out you know a grant they call to uh, to e you know on the chat show that i discovered that the scamming according to what they said i've started since 2012 you can imagine that no most people in the grants community don't even know the name to e as the grant but you know this grants community is so juicy that anybody that is what uh, uh, even uh, admin ellis the legendary admin ellis said anybody can just come to the grants community and make millions overnight because it's so funny you just lie to people that oh you have a grant you start selling clusters illegally all violated the international rules the united nation rules of grants that are supposed to be free there's nothing like registration for money you subscribe online for free you can't be a, a subscriber and be paying are you doing uh, money doubling like what he said, government, what fucking government? Yahoo boys are bringing in their monies every day into the country. How do they do that? They don't go through the CBN, but they bring millions of, of dollars, millions of pounds, you know, millions of euro notes into the country every day as we speak. So how are they doing that? Uh, big churches get their donors. They get grants. If a lot of people don't know, they should know today. Big churches get grants from their international partners, churches in the United States. They don't pass through the CBA and they got this money. So when you happen to be an NGO, you are non-governmental organization. So your business has no business to do with the government because you are an NGO. So what I'm trying to say in conclusion is that the press conference doesn't need to move from point A to point B or point C. And the beauty about the press conference is that it to create room the government to look at it okay even the international community the people that organize the press conference will have international connections it will be better to the advantage of the country because international bodies will look at it okay this is what is happening even if some of the players goes to jail but it will bring in more funds the international community will look at it the government will look at it Timberman might call us to the to the to Abuja to Asorak and talk about it. Okay, you guys are doing a good job. You just held a world press conference that brought in that was beamed internationally worldwide. That before you know what's up, more aids will be coming up. You know, more foreign grants will be coming up. We'll be having more money than real grants and real people because what is what has been playing since 2012 down to 2024. All the scammers don't have any money. They just come to the airspace to lie that they have a grant, whereas they don't have shishi, they don't have any donor. They start selling cluster. There's nothing like sales of cluster in the grants. There's nothing like support in the grants. There's nothing like sponsorship in the grants. All those things are totally bullshit. There's nothing like partnership in the grants. EDC, you subscribe for it, you merit it, then you're good to go. And, you know, and uh, Mr. Prince talked about some other things which I'll, you know, dive in you know, later. So let's move on with the chat show. This is my side of uh, my professional angle on how to get a job done. And, aha, uh -huh, let me just comment with this. Maybe we'll talk about that later behind the scene. A lot of people are scared about the press conference, even the chief, everybody. But it is doing Nigeria's more harm than good. We should support the press conference without being afraid of who your ally this is my friend or my scamming partner in the business will go to jail that is the answer of them killing the press conference and you're all so ignorant gullible they always believe that there's money somewhere and there's no money anyway this is the vehicle that will bring the real money because i understand what i'm doing that is why i said it's unfortunate i'm not in abuja 
if I happen to be in Abuja, I don't think we will even call anybody for any support financially. I know what to do. I know the bro uh, the buttons I'll press. I'll get over 50 million and we'll do whatever I want to do and close the door. They won't get support in the national bodies will come just like what I discussed with you behind closed door sprints. You know what's up. So we'll continue with that format later. So that is just that. Anyways, this is still the chat show. The electrifying hitman I am a Michael. Just dissected, you know, added his own, you know, view to things that will make things work perfectly in the country. So we don't need to be scared about it. We are all partners in progress. Agitators, there is no way, you know, if you don't like agitators. This thing, look, the way we are going in this grand community, I said, I, I made a write-up, I was two days ago. Don't be surprised that we start bringing in grants. All these things we are doing, our chat shows, they are going international. Uh, Mr. Prince talked about he will go off. Don't go off. These chat shows we do, my voice is being circulated every year. Your voice is being circulated. Even in YouTube, I was shocked to get calls from Ghana. Shocked to get calls from uh, Malaysia like that. I, I, I am a Mike. Was, even in London, in US, because we got Nigerians in the diaspora that are listening to all these things, that are part of following UAG's grant, Chilbert Grant EDC, they hear our voices and they know what's up. So the embassy, the United States embassy, uh, the United Nations EDC, all the powers there are all feeling us big time. So it's all about when the right time clicks, we finish up what we do, then we heat up them big time, then we start getting the real grants without the payment of a stipends. If you talk about that, then regrant drop in. Then if it's for project, we know that the grants is for project. If it's for you know circulating money on the streets, you don't even need in international donors to do all those stuff. We can get rich people, uh, more national companies. Jesus Christ, more national companies can give us grants. Then you circulate those grants, and even if it's five thousand, there are start from somewhere. Give. Then when you finish that, you send the data to the multinational companies that look local. I've given AYZ grants. These are my data. Put phone calls. They will appreciate it. They will, you know, comment on that. That yes, yeah, so Ayama Michael actually gave us grants. Five five thousand that came into our bank account. From there, you start growing. Then you take it to the next level. Before you know what's up, more international, uh, you know, uh, companies, organizations will be giving you money to affect areas that need help people in the village six people you know you have your ngos have to have you know areas of concentration is it uh motherless uh, uh babies or is it a uh, uh, youth uh those girls that give birth uh, you know uh how do they put it uh those are uh, um uh, uh women that gives birth without a father that is a uh, uh, baby mamas it is like that that needs help before you know what's up all those international bodies will come in to your NGOs. Then you start going to those areas that they need help. You start affecting them gradually. But nobody want to do the work. You know, everybody just want the magic to happen. Just like the magic has been happening in the grants community like that. Boom. You just wake up in the morning. I have grants. I have this thing. You know, blah, blah, blah. People will start keying in. You know, selling clusters for 22 million. Uh, 22,000. Before you know what's up. You know, do uh, you know? You can you can imagine UAG have to sell code for four hundred thousand? Can you imagine bullshit code? Huh? It, in fact, that was the first time I heard a code being sold for four hundred k, five hundred k. People are smiling to the banks. You just sit in your house. You made you before twenty four hours. You've made more than ten to uh, fifty million. Look at what uh, the legendary Reverend Wagachuku said. Before two days, forty eight hours, they've made. Uh, he has made over forty million. But look at uh, the Prince of Warren are crying over just stipends, you know, just five million. Whereas the legendary Reverend Bagachiko made over 40 million in 48 hours. You can see how gullible Nigerians are. You can see how gullible Nigerians are. Even the, the 100k they paid for screening, opposed to Ken and the UAG's body, made over 600 million we in less than 48 uh, 48 hours you can imagine that so that is a gullibility of the nigerian masses and now you're they're crying over that uh no just bus everybody knows the story about the uag stuff that it has gone sour but nothing is coming from that end we are looking up to ogram pressure group to do the magic and uh, thursday is gone just like what prince said and before you know what's up salah will hit us 
without any disbursement. We pray it doesn't happen that way. This is me, myself, and I, the election fine hits man. I am a Michael Straight Up No Eyes. So today's Throwback Thursday, 4th of April, 2024. All right. Uh, Reverend uh, Wagachuku, we have to call it a wrap now. What is your pattern shot? What do you have to tell the masses, sir? Uh, well, Anyama, what I have to say to people is that uh, this press conference is what I'm hammering on. But let me just make myself clear. I'm not supporting this press conference, that I'm one of the planners of the committee. But I'm supporting the vision because all these grand handlers need to be brought to book. And come and promise somebody what you don't have and you will go scot free it's not possible so i believe based on what they told me that this press conference will bring every of them to a book then whosoever is found guilty should uh, suffer for it according to the law so not that uh, this way i'm supporting them that uh, I, I i am planning with them to eat people's money because people will still accuse me like that you see so, but this press conference, I, I pray and plead for people to support so that this press conference will take place. That is just what I am begging people. Let us support to make sure this... It's not about our grant now, you see, but about our own self, our future, future of this country. So that tomorrow, fake grand handler will never come, will never surface again in this country. That is just the most important thing. And those ones that have done it, we know that it will never happen again in their life. So everybody should support this press conference. That is just my take. I pray that the uh, all grand pressure group, their money will be disbursed. I was hearing people giving fake news, UAG this, UAG that, since they have heard that this money is not UAG money. Still, they are talking about you know, those people are the people that collected a lot of money from people. So they are looking away to still put put those who give them hope. One one person I know before was talking. He said that is why I'm giving you people hope. What what a nonsense! You are giving me hope without anything, and you are telling me you are giving me hope. That hope is hopeless. It's hopeless. So everybody should pray that uh, God will help them. They have done based on what I heard. Oh. You see, I'm not sure anything nice about hearing. I'm not sure. I'm not promoting anything. But may God help them to succeed and uh, give us this money, no matter the amount they have to give us. Anybody that come up and say, hey, why will he give? He's a devil. That person is a demon. Any sensible human being will only be praying, if you know that thing you have, give us, let us see. Because we know we never subscribe to them. Had it been they have gone into oblivion, run away. Nobody will hold them. Who the people who is um, UAG and this one and they try everything they could to make sure they source even and somebody is complaining. So I wonder those people, those who are part of the people that sold cluster eight thousand, yeah, eight thousand that have eight thousand bundle heads, five thousand bundle head. They are in trouble. They have eaten their own. Time now is coming when the bundle heads will eat their own. So the bundle heads will hold them. That is why. So let them give us anything they have. We will take it. We will accept it with all our heart. And we will still wait for Q, Supreme, and UAAG. They will still give us their own. So everybody should support the press conference. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, straight up, though, I see just felt that from the legendary Reverend Wagachibu. Anyways, uh, uh, Prince from Wari, uh, the new kid on the block, what is your pattern shot to the masses, sir? As uh, so we call it a wrap. Thank you very much. Uh, well, what I have to say to Nigerian subscribers in Grant community is that they should not give up. They should not give up, rather. They should encourage us to bring out the truth. They are the ones that have lost millions and billions of Naira. So if they want to come back to life again, because most of us, the subscribers, we are dead financially. When I mean dead, we are dead financially. It's from arm to mouth. Some of us that can afford to square me now, sometimes is one oh oh. Sometimes in a day, no food to eat. All because we have given our money to scammers. They should rise up. 
they should rise up and take the bull by the horn. They should rise up to support the press conference. Even if all grand pressure groups decide to disburse this money today, they will still go hungry again because nobody knows how much they are giving to you. Even if they decide to give Nigerians 5, 5 million lira, believe me, it will go nowhere. If only you know the cost of things presently now, like my state where I stay to rent a shop in a year, in a year, it's over 800, 900, depends on the kind of shop, a year before you pay gen fee kosher fee before you paint before you rent over a million naira is gone so what are they giving us that will make us not too hungry again but when you support this press conference it will put an end to everything that is it you will not spend money to make money in grants community whoever that is fighting press conference are, are those that have forcefully taken our money those are the people that are fighting against press conference so my last word is everybody please encourage us the agitators encourage us with this press conference and let the need for be done press conference will bring more grants to nigeria that is what i have to say thank you very much all right straight up no ice the new kid on the block just nailed it he just dissected everything here uh, like uh, my own part of the story we just have to support the press, uh, the press conference, and uh, just like what he said, the press conference will beam Nigerian grant community into the international space, international airspace, for them to understand that we are serious. And apart from those that will go behind bars, which they are all, you know, uh, forming an ally to kick against the press conference, they are not doing themselves any good, not doing Nigerians any good. Are just being selfish because of the criminal activities they've you know stained their hands in the scamming activities which are all against both local and international law there's nothing like sales of any cluster sponsorship uh code sales uh, support edc in a grant grants are free money is given by you know donors international donors for the less privileged in the society this is where I'll be calling it a wrap, you from today's chat show, Throwback Thursday, 4th of April 2024, from Hit Me Foundation Studios. Thank you very much, Mr. Prince, for coming. And thank you, Mr. Ekbon, uh, Ambassador Engineer, Amen, and all the people that came to the chat show, including legendary Reverend Wagachuku and legendary Ajayi Adegoke. All right, I'm out. We'll do this again soon. Yeah.